Hey, it's John Danny. I'm at uh, Sirius Satellite Radio, fixing to do Howard Stern. Have no clue what we're going to talk about, but I'm sure it's going to be interesting. Hopefully, it's about the new book. You've got a lot of interesting stories in your new book. And uh, yeah. Howard's probably going to want to know a lot about that. Are you willing to uh, dish some dirt? Well, you know, hey, it's the truth, so why not? <laughs> I'd be doing a crash course on our next guest. I see. John Daly. Well, interesting guy, man. Yeah, I've been. Uh, they did a whole 60 Minutes profile on him a couple of weeks ago, I saw. He's that guy who came on the scene in golf, like kind of got into a tournament when a couple of people didn't show up, and he got in, and he, and he won the whole tournament. Yeah, it was and, like a Cinderella story. And the fans love him. A lot of people watch golf when he's on. Here he comes. This is uh, John Daly. He's got a book out. It's My... sort of the Artie syndrome. Well, he's got a yeah. People love him for his vulnerabilities. There's a lot of Artie and John yeah. and a lot of John. Hey, John, come on in. Nice to meet you. He's got a parallel in baseball, John Crook. You, said, you know, it's funny, John, when the guys were telling me your whole story, because I don't know squat about golf or anything, but when the guys were telling the story of your life, and I went, oh, you know, it's kind of sad. And Gary goes, you know what? He doesn't have a sad life. He loves his life. But you know what I think? Like, Tiger Woods has even said about you. Oh, hi. Hey, how, hey, you hey, hey, how you doing? How you doing, man? Hey, good to see you. <laughs> good to see you. Yeah, you started talking yeah, to him before you even said hello. You, you want a well, beer? Well, I'm immersing his... You want a <laughs> beer? I was going to try one of those. Uh, you know, it's a light Just give him a cold one. It's a Heineken Premium Light. You know what? Hi, Robert. Hi there. How are you? <laughs> good. I heard you were searching for a beer. I said, well, get him yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. It's, you want a double dog? What time is it? <laughs> Ten to nine. It's That's time. It's time Perfect. to drink, yeah. It's perfect. <laughs> Big deal. You, you're, you know, Tiger Woods has said of you that you're this great golfer and like I even said do you think if John like really took the game seriously didn't gamble didn't drink you know like really concentrated on the game and Tiger Woods seems to feel like you would be you have so much natural talent that you would be incredibly great so then I get sad thinking wow you know you could be like this unbelievable golfer could be Tiger Woods but you don't feel that way you're kind of like I'm enjoying my life yeah I mean the harder I work at it the worse I get you know I figured out Practicing causes imperfection when I do it. So Really? Yeah. I just, you mean you've tried that route? Oh, yeah. I suck when I practice. Well, it's he said on the show he hates to work out. Oh, yeah. He hates to practice. It's almost like you got a gift, and if you start concentrating on it too much, maybe it jinxes it. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's amazing. When did you start golfing? Oh, when I was about four. Well, you got to start young with golf, right? Yeah. And you got to hope somebody teaches you the right form and everything. Well, I was pretty much self-taught. You know, you should see my little two and a half boy hit a golf ball. Yeah, he showed. They showed him hitting with your son. Yeah, he's really actually cute. hit more golf balls in two and a half years than I have in forty years of my life. So <laughs> <laughs> but he's how do you, the one that's actually going to take it seriously. Right. But how do you know when you're a young kid that you're hitting the ball right? I mean, when you say self-taught, you don't. You know, I mean, you don't know what you're doing when you're when you're a little kid. How did you learn the proper form for golf? Jack Nicholas golf lesson tees. They were in cartoons, and I looked at the pictures and. And saw how he gripped it, interlocking grip, and it was all in cartoons. Was, I, I, they ought to come out with it again. And then that one fateful day where you like just were trying to get a break, and then you get into a real big tournament and you win it, and then your life changes. Yeah, oh, that's changes. awesome. And then, but then, the, your personal life is so whacked out. We were just playing tapes of guys. Who, who was it that were the the guys on uh, what's the name of that TV show? Cold Pizza. Cold, Cold Pizza. Cold Pizza. Yeah, was saying, I know it was pizza something. In your book, you claim you lost sixty million dollars gambling, and they say that's impossible because you never made enough. You'd have you'd have to make two hundred million dollars in no, order to so lose sixty they're million. They're idiots. They don't know what they're talking about. They're hey, idiots. Explain it to me. Well, there's wins in there too. I mean, so you figured, you know, and plus it's slot machines. So. Right. Yeah, you don't um, even play interesting games. You like well, the I, slot I, machine. I still play blackjack a little bit. <laughs> yeah, old ladies play that game. <laughs> Not the well. There's a lot of high slots out there, however. But so uh, you like to go to where? Vegas? Yeah, well, anywhere. You anywhere. Know? Yeah. Monte and just, Carlo, anywhere. And, and just sit there and pull those slots. Yeah. But when you start, you're making a couple of million dollars a year. When you're doing that, haven't you sort of hit the lottery in a way? I mean, what's what do you think the drive is to want more money? Like, you, you, you've, if you took the money you made from golf and endorsements, invested it, you'd be set for life. Do you ever do you ever think about that? Well, I'm okay right now. I mean, yeah. You know, but people for getting back to that first thing, people forget there's wins in there too. Like, know? what's the most you ever won? Uh, I think uh, Bally's, when my wife and I got married five years ago, I won $1.8 million. Wow. On a, on a slot uh -huh. machine. On slots, slots, machines. <laughs> yeah. Wow. There on was, one tear. There were six 500s and two 1,000s. So you're figuring with all your wins, all your losses, after it's all said and done, $60 million went down the drain. About 58, yeah. And that doesn't make you nuts? No. 
You look at your kid and you could be leaving him this incredible legacy if you had that money in your pocket. Well, there's plenty more. There's stuff I invested. My kids are taken care of for the yeah. rest of their lives. They don't have to worry about anything. Wow. So everything's cool. Yeah. People, I mean, people look at how much I make. They, they look at my career earnings. Well, that's nothing compared to, you know, you got corporate America doing outings, overseas trips. Yeah, he's um, really endorsement big deals. on the endorsement circuit. Not with yeah. the, You've lost a few endorsements, though. But it seems like it's great. I gained them right back. I've yeah. got, I like, they call me the NASCAR guy with all the logos on my shirts. But you used to, uh, didn't you do a, an endorsement deal with Trim Spot and then you ended up gaining weight? And they had a, they got ready or something? No, was that the case? I, I actually lost weight you uh, did? a little bit. But then what was funny <laughs> is I was playing the Battle of the Bridges two years ago with Tiger. Uh, it was me, Tiger, Phil, and... Uh, who else was in there? I can't remember. But anyway, I had the I had the trim spa on the chest, and I had Dunkin' Donuts on the right sleeve. And Tiger <laughs> says, Tiger goes, that's that's real good, JD. You got Dunkin' Donuts and trim spa. I said, what? I said, hey, it beats AA and Miller Lite. That's right. You know, <laughs> didn't bother you. <laughs> but uh, then and then and then someone said that you endorsed um, also GoldenPalace.com, one of our sponsors, right? Did you ever use the internet for? Uh for gambling? For gambling? No, you, you never no got I've into never that. been a guy that bets on football or bat, you know all that crap. I don't. Have you ever bet on golf? Like, no, no. Uh -uh. Because that was one of the things they brought up in the cold pizza, or one of those things that the PGA ought to look into that. Because in Britain, I guess you can bet on your own games. You can. I mean, I know there's guys that do it, but I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie. I've had people call me and say, "Hey, man, once you throw off, I'll make you a million. I said, "You know." yourself you know fuck yeah fuck yourself i mean that's ridiculous like, there's no way i could do that i would never bet on golf and i'm, I'm just a only time i gamble is when i go to casinos do you think you do, do you think the pga perceives you as an embarrassment or do they love you because the way it's been explained to me you bring a lot of people to the television set when you get in a tournament and you're doing well some people who aren't even golf fans, just fans of yours. He doesn't even have to be doing well. They love to watch his whole struggle throughout the course. I think it's, it's you know, my, my life is about life. I mean, I don't hide anything, you know? Right. I people mean, like it. I think hopefully the book, you know, My Life In and Out of the Rough, hopefully people can learn from the mistakes I made, you know? Man, I mean, you made a lot of mistakes, though, especially with marriage. I didn't know you were married four, four times. times. Yeah. yeah. And your present wife's in jail? Yeah. Jesus now, how does a guy, you're at the top <laughs> yeah. of your game, how do you marry a woman who winds up in jail? Well, it's it's complicated. It's not something that, I mean, you know, she was 25 years old. She made two deposits for her dad. She worked for her dad. Oh. And, Wait uh, a second. Let me understand it. First wife, you marry. There was something screwy going on there, too, right? I mean, there was something with, um, she had a kid and she never told you? Well, that's the second wife. <laughs> that's the second <laughs> Holy mackerel, man. You've been through yeah. a Where are you um, finding your women? <laughs> it's not in church, I can promise you that. <laughs> how, old, how old are you? I'm 40. Just turned 40. You've been married four times before the age of 40. Yeah. That's wild. Well, I got guys at home that have been married more than I have. Why do you keep getting married, though? Why not just date these chicks and bang them? Well, I mean, what, what's going on there? Every, you know, I've, I want to have kids. So, I mean, and that's the reason, you know, you feel like you love somebody. You want to have kids with them. And, um, just you know, goes, it just goes all wrong. And he's still does. working with the wife who's in prison. He wants to keep that together, huh? I've had so many, Robin, people, I've said so many people give up on me. I'm not giving up on my wife. I love wow. her too much. Wow. Well, you're a good man. We, yeah. I, we, me and my wife have a saying. It's in the book. We love each other just a little bit more than we hate each other. So. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, the, you, Gary. the second wife, which I guess is the one that lied about the kid, right? Yeah. She also lied about her age by 10 years. Ah. Yeah. Wow. Man, what a life you've yeah. had. How'd you get the gambling problem in, in, under control? Like, see, Artie, Artie has a gambling problem. Oh, this guy over here who works with us. And he's, got, he's been in rehab and stuff. What's up, John? Well, you figured rehab, Artie's for quitters, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you got to quit some things, but, not uh, everything. Like, but. Artie thinks he can drink in moderation, which, you, you know, that's Artie's whole rap. Well, and that's your rap, too, right? Like, you, you used to drink a fifth of uh, Jack yeah. Daniels every yeah. day. Yeah. But then you said, hey, I could just drink beer. Yeah. And that's what you're sticking to. Mm -hmm. Is that working? It's working great. Well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. See, I had to get off Coke. That's why I went to rehab. So I haven't done Coke in 10 years. That's but awesome because I know that's, what is it? That and uh, cigarette smoking is the two hardest things to quit. Yeah, well, I now I drink. But seeing as I, I don't drink in moderation at times, at times it goes overboard. But it hasn't led to blow anymore. Well, know? as long as you're not driving anywhere. You know? Right. <laughs> yeah, I have a driver now. Yeah. <laughs> you're responsible, aren't you? But isn't your attitude great? I mean, in a sense that you're not going to let your profession take over your entire life. You're not going to be all neurotic about it. You're going to live your life and then hopefully win golfing tournaments and, and just have fun with it. You know it must yeah. kill Tiger yeah. Woods when you're... 
the guy next to him because he does everything right. He does everything he's supposed to do. His life outside of golf pretty much sucks because he's so into his golf. And then you're right next to him. Yeah, well, he married a wonderful girl. I mean, she's beautiful. But, I mean, he's... Yeah, she's hot, His huh? dad basically trained Tiger to be what he is. You know, I'm from Arkansas. My dad kind of, you know, kind of let me go and do my own thing and learn on my own. And, uh, you know, it's that's, the total, that's just what's so different about John, it. John, have you won any majors? Yeah. Yeah, a couple. How, how many have you won? Two, 91 PGA and uh, 95 British Open. Oh, okay. You didn't know that already. No, I I thought it, I knew you won definitely one. I didn't know you had won another one. Yeah, he, Ty, Tiger's won. I mean, the difference is Tiger's won like what eight or nine, right? Or maybe, oh, more no, than he's, that. He's, won, he's won, in the teens. I think, yeah. he won, I think he's won ten now. So you don't yeah. think with with more discipline you could be up to that amount of wins major wise? Well, you never know. I mean, and that doesn't bug you. Because like, yeah. don't you don't you even smoke cigarettes during the match? Oh yeah, I was going to ask you. They won't let me smoke in there. Can I smoke? You in can there? smoke all you want. Okay, See, and I'll you can you. drink. I'll get you a beer. Yeah, I don't give a Jesus. shit. Do what you have to do. <laughs> He's not even <laughs> playing golf today. Huh? What's he going to hurt? Yeah, you need a, you need so a you cigarette. Mean you'll light up a cigarette. <laughs> you'll light up a cigarette like during the match, and, uh, and and that must drive the PGA crazy. No, there's a lot of guys that smoke on tour. Yeah, that's what's great about your sport. It's hard. It's hardly even a sport. You could smoke and eat during it. All right, here's here's something that's funny. You're talking about a game. Everybody's working out. Nobody wants to smoke or drink, but. Do you know how 18 holes of golf got invented? How? 18 shots of scotch. Oh. Yeah, it's a leisurely game. A leisurely I mean, game. Yeah, yeah, it's just a fun time. It's supposed to be fun. When the, when, the eight, when the bottle ran out, it was 18 shots, and they said, hey, this is 18 holes of golf. That's how we're going to. Tiger Woods' so. wife is really hot. Oh, yeah, She's beautiful, you know that. yeah. She's a sweetheart, too. Yeah? You ever see her in a thong or anything? Mm-mm. Do you hang out with Tiger? You couldn't hang out no, with Tiger. No, I don't get a chance to. <laughs> is your wife hot? Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. 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 I'll have to check her what out. What is she doing yeah. in prison? How is she staying away from the inmates? Yeah, they, uh, like other chicks coming on to her and stuff? No, no. She's in there. There's a lot of older ladies in there. Hey, uh, can I have a cigarette while he's smoking? All right, have a cigarette. Uh, oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> 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 my brain's blown out here. My wife's <laughs> very beautiful. Now, you'll get the cancer mm. and die, huh? Yeah, but, uh, you know what? I'll get the secondhand smoke. <laughs> no just, kidding. It smells too good. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Where'd you meet this wife, the fourth one? I met her on uh, at uh, Memphis on the tenth hole and at the FedEx St. Jude Classic. So and I finally met a girl that I didn't meet in a bar, you know. So did it take perfect. you forever to get in her pants, or she was like way into you because you're a golfer? She, no, it, it didn't take too long. No, mm. Man, good for you. I, I like your slogan: "All my exes wear Rolexes." <laughs> Johnny Lee wrote that. <laughs> That's a good one. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> All my exes wear. Did Rolexes. you have to settle a lot of money on each wife after you got rid of them? Baby, I'm still paying them too. Oh, really? Two of them, yeah. Wow. How do you have a dime in your pocket between the gambling and all the ex-wives, man? I mean, I don't see how the hell you're managing all this. This uh, has got to be a major headache. No, it's all right. And you, you got to keep going because you got to pay everybody. Yeah. When you went to you went to rehab, right? Uh, twice, I think. And yeah. you name one of your kids after the rehab? Sierra, yeah. Sierra. Why? Yeah. <laughs> Why would you name it? <laughs> it was a pretty Sierra's a pretty name. You know? I have a kid named Hazelton. <laughs> But you, uh, <laughs> is that our ashtray? Yeah, use that, yeah. Is that the one you went to, Artie? <laughs> no, no, no. Where did you go? Uh, I went to a great place in Jersey called uh, Honesty House. <laughs> well, that's a stupid name. But that would be kind of that's a, a nice name. Hippie yeah. name, yeah. Honesty yeah. House Line. Well, you guys, you know, in a way it doesn't work because no. uh, you're supposed to not drink, but you guys just have found a way to drink. Uh, like, Artie, you still drink. I drink a lot, yeah. I mean, not, not, I used to, with this job, I got to be here at 6 in the morning with this oh, thank you. Just job I have. I can't drink during the week. <laughs> All right, we're testing the new Heineken light. All you right. Take a, take a sip. I Tell me. us I how it is. I haven't had this yet, but nice I'm, a, I'm a real light drinker. Go ahead. cold as I'd like. We, it should be colder. <laughs> we could, that's a big first sip. Yeah, I was going to say, that's a good slug. <laughs> how you like it? That ain't bad. That's yeah, good. that's a good beer. Yeah. Yeah, Heineken light. Enjoy. Beautiful. Um, but, uh, well, let me get back to this. <laughs> look at these look two at guys. These two. <laughs> There's a Artie's bonding going on. Element. How long is this show on there for? Yeah. Like all day? We've yeah. been sitting here, Artie, for a long time, baby. We're get Artie, some cards. <laughs> Artie and John Daly have really hit it off. <laughs> they found each other. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. But I, I, mean, don't, I don't get endorsements, though. But you got some great drunk stories. I mean, you once went through 17 red lights when you were hammered, right? <laughs> I mean, like, you it, just... Yeah, this was in South Africa. We were... See, there's like three guys in the car. Jimmy McGovern, was. he's one of my best friends. He played golf at Arkansas with me, and right. we were just hammered. And we're in South Africa. Of course, they drive on the wrong side of the road. So, Right. And I'm driving. There's no traffic. We're just zooming through these red lights. Wow. And you just, uh, did you get a ticket? Did you get arrested? No, I, I don't know what was going on. Nobody there, even there cared. Was no traffic. It's like 3 in the morning. And I, nothing stopped you. You just. 
I didn't even Camp think Miller. they had traffic lights in South Africa. Yeah. I figured I think they like stay red. And... That's what I was pissed off about. They stay red, so you just go right to them. <laughs> they don't work, the traffic lights. So wait a second. You get mar- How old were you when you get your first marriage? I think I was 21. Right. And before you got into golf and everything, like in a, in a major way, like, you know, became a big star. Don't want to burn your... That's yeah, okay. don't start a fire. When, when, before you got into golf, were you, like, just loose and, and drinking and all this kind of stuff? So you were the same guy before you got into golf, right? Pretty much. I mean, yeah. I was, you know, I started all sports when I was four, but uh, I had my first beer when I was about eight. And how old? Eight. <laughs> really? Yeah. And how old were you when you got your your first marriage under your belt? Uh, yeah, I was twenty one. Twenty one. That thing doesn't work. How long did that marriage go? We we I think it was about a year, year and a half. We're still friends. I mean, it was we just got married too young. Right. And then the second one, the second wife, you marry her, and she's got kids, and somehow conceals that from you. How does she? How did she pull that off? I don't know. I, the first time I tried to marry, this is how dumb I am, but then again, she, she was pregnant with my first daughter, Shina. Right. And um, found out that when I asked her first time to marry, she was still married. You got no luck with women, man. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, he keeps barreling through. You know, he finds out she has a husband, so he waits for her to get divorced. Then he tries to marry her again and finds out she has kids. Yeah. And you, you keep going. Yeah. But now your wife's in jail. You got to wait for her. Are you are you being faithful while your wife's in jail? Yeah, I am, and it's killing me. Because you're you're a, like, a sex I'm addict, dying. also, right? Yeah, I'm dying. You mean he's a sex addict? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He has an incredible sexual appetite, John Daly. He thinks about sex all the time. Wow. He so what had, are you doing? He once had sex with his second wife ten times in one day. <laughs> So wanna, how are you controlling you yourself? You want to go do Robin? Uh-huh. No. no. <laughs> go ahead. I just keep him blue until she gets out. <laughs> keep him blue. <laughs> no, what are you doing? Are you beating off? No, I don't. I can't do Get that. Get out of I here. can't do that shit. Why? I can't. I, just, I don't know. I just it doesn't. That can't be real. No. You're doesn't not beating off? No. You don't read porn? You don't watch no. porn? No. Why? Why wouldn't you well, beat off? Now that I watch porn, but I don't. Your whole life you never beat off? No, I'm not one of those. I just never really have. No. You religious? Well, not to an extent, I don't preach or anything, but no. Anybody buying that explanation, or you think you oh. can't believe it? But the guy saying it, he's a pretty yeah. honest guy. I wouldn't think he'd lie about yeah. that. Yeah, I was gonna say, of all people, I'd believe him. You know. It's kind of tough, you know, when you got two boys sleeping with you. My two sons sleep with me every night. That Not I'm in the same so. bed. Well, yeah, they're, my two and a half year old, he's he's a little snuggler. So oh, so I'm you like, have to watch the kids while yeah, your wife's in jail. Yeah, here's the funny thing: all my buddies, Johnny Lee, the Urban Cowboy, Billy P, right, all of my country friends, and. Hootie and the Blowfish, they all call me Sunday and wish me happy Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you, got, you got a woman watching these kids at all? Do you got like, some kind of Sherry's mom's an angel. She reminds me of my mom, just a saint. She's helped out tremendously, and she takes oh. care of them when, when uh, you know. Yeah, so, I mean, you can go out and uh, hang out and party and stuff, right? Well, not too much. I, I can go. I can leave my kids maybe a week, and that's it. You say sex helps your golf game. You credit a lot of sex with your, uh, with your victories in Germany, 2001, in San Diego at the Buick Invitational, 2004. Uh, whenever you see John Daly playing great golf, you know his wife's taking care of his needs. You know, now you know I had made a cu- I can't make a cut right now, right, so yeah. now she's got to <laughs> believe. Really she's got to believe I'm faithful. <laughs> and the third and the third wife, she, she's a she's real she's really your nemesis. She accused you of inappropriate marital conduct. What does that what mean? What does that mean? Never really came out. So you know, I don't know. You just had a pair. <laughs> just a pair. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Man, I've never oh, even heard that term, inappropriate marital conduct. That means you were probably cheating, right? That's what she thinks. Not with Paulette, no. You never cheated. No. Not with Paulette. No. You smoke two (laughs) packs of cigarettes a day. You drink an average of 15 cans of Diet Coke a day. Damn, Artie, who's this sound like? Well, it's Diet Coke. I'm regular. Yeah, Artie won't drink Diet Diet Coke. Coke? Why Diet Coke? I wish I liked Diet. I can't get into it. It just tastes better. You yeah. like the taste of Diet Coke. Well, sure. in college, was, my golf coach's name was Steve Loy. He said, you're not going to play on this team until you lose some weight. So... I started smoking, started drinking Jack Daniels straight, and went from Coke to Diet Coke. <laughs> Good Lord. What's with the drinking, though? I mean, what are you going to do? Like, like I don't, I, I, you, you know you guys are going to end up drinking more and more and more. If you're drinking a beer at 8 o'clock in the morning. It's, you, he it's, swears he's got the drinking under control. It's moderation. What's, so what do you consider moderation? Like 20 beers a day, maybe. You have about 20 <laughs> beers a day? <laughs> it's now, protein. It's like cigarettes. You know, I got to say... Caffeine and nicotine to me equal protein. Right. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever do you ever do you ever tell the people at rehab, look, I'm going to be drinking 20 beers a day, and I don't consider that a problem. 
No, I never said that. But yeah. Yeah, but everybody's different. That's what they don't yeah. get in rehab. Some people yeah. can live oh, their yeah. life. <laughs> You're going to laugh. I know. Yeah. I love Some how pe- people don't get it at no, rehab. Nobody <laughs> don't get it at rehab. <laughs> Some explain. people can lead their life drinking 20 beers a day, but he, he Jack Daniels was making him out of control, so that's what he had to cut out, right? Yeah. Well, what's so? different about beer than Jack Daniels? It's all alcohol. It's all booze. I know, but whiskey, you know, you've heard the old story, whiskey men, they, they think they're Superman. Now, really? whiskey is, uh, whiskey you've heard of it's the whiskey too. Talking on Artie-Lang.com, Robin. Yeah. It's um no, it's a different kind of drunk, you know. And yeah. does twenty beers even get you buzz? Are you buzzed at the end of the day? Yeah, kind of nice little buzz. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, it's funny. If I could play the tour drunk, I'd win every week. Is if, that if right? If you had to drink a beer, well, why don't each you? Show, well, because they, they'll ban me. They'll they would. Me, yeah. Do they drug test yeah. you? No, I don't do drugs. I'm not. I'm no, but I'm just saying, how would they know if you're drinking? Put water, I mean, instead of water, put some Heineken in your. Uh, well, they could smell it. You can act erratic, you know what I mean? Play, he'll be shirtless by hole 16, <laughs> yelling at yeah. people. In college, John once went three days without eating, drinking, four bottles of whiskey until he passed out and had to be taken to the emergency room. Yeah. In 1990, John drank 15 Jack and Cokes before he had to be hospitalized for alcohol poisoning. Jack and Cokes, bro. Uh, yeah. you, guys, Jack, you guys are like kindred see, spirits. See, I, I love Jack Daniels, too, That's but that's a rough one. So. I, and you're not giving that up. No, but well, for me, cocaine was driving me nuts, so I had to get rid of that, and I got rid of that. I, I and No one gives me credit for that. Of course we do. <laughs> I haven't had a drop I don't of, even believe you stopped doing coke. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I haven't had a drop of whiskey since I was 25. And, really? and, that's and, that's I can't impressive. Even, and I can't even stand the smell of it. And wait, you're fi- 15 years no whiskey. No whiskey. Wow, that's man. something else, man. Good for you. John but was, he says he cannot... The gambling is the thing he can't shake. You're still gambling. A little bit, yeah. Moderation. Moderation, Are you yeah. doing moderation in that, too? Yeah, I really am. Oh, I, well, give me... Give me uh, well, I used to go straight into the casino, get a $500,000, $300,000 marker, wow. play the... You know, five hundred thousand dollars slot machines, and I had a relapse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> After Tiger beat me in a playoff last year, I went to the Win Casino in Vegas. I've never seen a five thousand dollars slot machine. <laughs> one coin, five thousand, and I yeah. and I just got nuts on it. I've never seen one. Most uh, I've ever seen is a thousand. Yeah. Artie's jacking off right now, listening to your stories. <laughs> no, so, see, I can't. I can't. I I admire him too because I can't find moderation in gambling either. But I'm a guy who likes to gamble on sports. You know, as a matter of fact, I've I've you've you've cost me quite a bit of money over the years. <laughs> <laughs> and you're talking to me. Beautiful. Yeah, you're a good guy. I like it. So no, what are you happened kidding in me? The, in the, He's getting ready to marry you. What happened in the casino when you were putting in five thousand dollars every time you spun the the wheel. I just didn't. Yeah, I think the most I hit was two fifty, but I was already down like six hundred thousand. Dude, every hundred. Oh, Artie dollars. loves these numbers. Wait a minute. Every pull of the wheel is five grand. Five, five grand. Holy yeah. shit! <laughs> you, if you get it, it's a, it's a double diamond machine at the Win Casino. It's a double diamond, yeah. and Holy if you hit shit. a cherry, it's ten grand. Man. Man, are you a degenerate? I love him. Six hundred thousand yeah. he lost sitting there. Artie, yeah. you're not even on the degenerate scale. No, I'll John. give you the I'll give you the all time heroin of gambling. It's a it's a bet called a lightning bet, and I had to stop doing this because I was I was shaking. <laughs> um, say like say you bet lightning bets in basketball, right? Uh, say the point the under over is 140 for the game. Every and you bet the over. Every point it goes over, you win a grand. Every point it's under, you lose a grand. Yeah. So literally, once you hit the number that you want to hit, every basket is two thousand mm-hmm. dollars. So you're just watching, shaking. Wow. <laughs> I mean, Can you imagine that? That that's insanity. That's a bet. That's, that's what made me out of stop gambling for a year. I, I lost eight thousand. I ha- I lightning betted the over on the lowest scoring basketball game in the history of the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> the Pistons must the Pistons must have been playing. You know what? It was the Bulls Jazz when the they held the Jazz to like. 60 points in one game. Yeah. Wow. Listen to this, Artie, if you want to wet your pants. In 1990, yeah. John drank 15 Jackson Cokes. Oh, I told you that one. Well, listen to this one. John passed out drinking with his eyes open. You've yeah. never done that. I don't know. What do you mean by that? You passed out, but you were, you were like your eyes are wide open. Yeah, I do it, I do it sober. My wife says I do it sober. When I'm, when I'm, exhausted, when I'm exhausted or very, very tired. You'll sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, my eyes will be open. She says... We have a tape of me in Vegas. Passed out for two hours on the show with my eyes open. (laughs) That's true. I don't remember anything. I think Fred passed out seven years ago, and we don't know. (laughs) It's It's unbelievable. So this is a this is a big deal to have you on. You're excited about your new book. And, oh, we uh, love you too, by the way. And Robin, thank you, oh, thank, thank you, thank you. John Daly's book, "My Life in and Out of the Rough," is in stores now, and John's going to be signing copies of his book this afternoon at Borders. If you go over there, you can sit and hang with this incredible.
incredible guy at 100 Broadway in Manhattan. And tonight at 7 o'clock at Bookends in Ridgewood, New Jersey, you could go meet John Daly and talk golf or drinking or gambling or, you know, yeah, slot you know, machine sex. you about his relationship with the PGA. And they love him, and they don't know what to do about him all at the same time because the guys who follow him aren't even golf fans a lot of the times. He's bringing people to the sport who've never watched golf before. Hey, yeah. listen, listen. They don't even yeah. know how to act out on the course. Well, listen to this. Then the listen PGA's got to love him. Come on. <laughs> I didn't finish this. John smokes two packs of cigarettes a day. John drinks an average of 15 cans of Diet Coke a day. John eats as many as 20 packs of peanut M&Ms during a round yeah. of golf. I love jo peanut M&Ms. John used to eat McDonald's for almost every meal. <laughs> you could die from that. No, I don't do that anymore. That. I don't eat the M&Ms because I drink now. So. <laughs> yeah, right. I go to Hooters now, so that's you. Yeah, I, I, and that's your thing, you right? You like Hooters. Yeah. And you do the Hooter airline thing, right? Uh, my merchandise trader yeah. goes to Hooters. When I won the British in 1995, I ate chocolate chip muffins and chocolate croissants all day long, every day of the tournament. Wow. How's that? See, when you do win a major, like, now did Tiger play in that British Open? I think he might have played as an amateur. I'm not, I'm not for well, sure. Well, because it was a while ago. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's really, when he does win that major, man, that's when he really is, that you could say fuck you to everybody because you're having that great of a time and you won. Well, yeah. he's that's actually it, wound you know? well, it's up It's like in... Jack Nicklaus said. He said if you've, if you've won a British Open at St. Andrews, your career is full. Yeah. Well, okay. But he's actually huh? wound up in the, you know, like in playoffs with Tiger and stuff. You, you're really good. Well, sometimes. You, you took antidepressants for a while? See, yeah. Artie, Artie, you took yeah, the antidepressants. Those did. things don't work. Uh, for me, it actually got me back, like, functioning a little bit, and then I had to stop taking them. I couldn't deal with it. No. Side effects and all that bullshit. I didn't feel right on them. You no, know? I mean, I gained, like, 60 pounds on them. That's the other thing, yeah. They, they, make, you, they make you hungry and... You fucking guys should hang out. <laughs> I've been got looking a lot at in it. common. I mean, really. What, what, what? At least he can golf. All I do is tell dick jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean you could, Artie could definitely do to hang with you, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, one of your Bros, Give I'm him a candy you. for me. Right. <laughs> I do that in a heart. How much money is in that? I don't give a shit. So where do you like to go? You go to Atlantic City at all? I every now and then I've been there, yeah. yeah. And, now, and now you can go over and look at a slot machine for $100 and play that as a I, I can go to 25s and play now. You can. You know, I bring cash in and play now. And That's then, enough action for you? Or you yeah, it is now. You don't, yeah, you, you don't miss the a, roller coaster? If I hit a big one, I move up, you know. So. Right. But what what is your limit if you're not winning do you have a limit uh, it's about 50 I take 50, 50 grand in cash or 40 grand in cash and play it and hey here's hey, a, here's a, yeah as you can say one more thing when you're talking about john beating stuff up i guess he once punched a tv and almost ended his golfing career by tearing a bunch of tendons in his oh. hand see that's the crap that gets dangerous man. that you was don't... in swaziland in south africa you don't I... want what what happened I just got divorced from dale and i only had seven thousand dollars to my name this is back in 89 and uh, she took it. <laughs> she, she took, took the, the money. $7, I got the Eurosport <laughs> Chevrolet car, and then she, she got well, the did, seven grand. Pussy but. gets you into more trouble, <laughs> man. But you love it. It's one expensive. Of, one of my best friends who runs my merchandise trailer was catting for me in South Africa, and he was asleep. And uh, I just got really wasted on D Jack Daniels and just drunk as, you know, Cooter Brown. And I was just depressed, and uh, basically my hand was fractured. Hmm. And I had a doctor look at it the next morning. I shot like... I think 70, 200 par the first round, and I, I won the swan, I won that tournament. 20, with the bad hand? With the bad hand, yeah. Sometimes it takes all the pressure off you. I guess. Yeah, you're not supposed know. to do any good with a bad hand, right? No. I was, Man, you love pussy. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean <laughs> you're marrying it. You're giving your money to it. I mean, it's crazy. Can you get a lot of uh, chicks on the, on the tour? You could. Yeah? You could, yeah. You ever have two girls at the same time? Uh, in a relationship I have, yes. No kidding. What do you yeah. mean? Your wife's bringing girls home? No, no, not my wife, but Leslie in the book. Really? Yeah. How'd that go down? Uh, it was all right. It was about three years. It was pretty good. You banged another chick in front of your wife? No, she wouldn't. No, it wasn't my wife. It was just a girlfriend. A girlfriend. She, she wouldn't. She they wouldn't went down know. on each other? Yeah. And you got to watch and beat off while they did it? Well, I'd do my girlfriend while she would. You, you know. did the girlfriend while she was eating the chick? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's nice. Who knew that golfers were getting that kind of stuff? Well, John's getting that. Golfers do all right. Man. Golfers. I don't think even Tiger's pulling that off. <laughs> Tiger might have a lot of money, but I don't know if he's pulling that off. I don't think that, that broad he married is doing no, Inga. No, she's not bringing anybody home. I don't home. think Inga's doing that. No. Let's see. I heard that John Daly, the golfer, is coming in on the show, and that reminded me of something I read a few years ago that always cracked me up. Rick Riley, a writer for Sports Illustrated, wrote a book called Who's Your Caddy? 
At one point, while they were driving, Daly pulls his wang out of his lap, and Rick's impressed by his gift. You really that big? Oh, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> they compared your penis to the size of a Coke can. Whoa. <laughs> thick, girth. Girth. Yeah, it's thick. No kidding. Yeah. When, when you pull your pants off and you're about to bang a chick, do, do they freak out? Well, my wife, it takes, she doesn't like me to do it from behind too much, so. Because it hurts. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, honey, you don't have that in common. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> you like girth better than length, right, Robin? Um, well, you need both, don't you? <laughs> Do you got the length going, too? Not bad. Not bad. Over eight inches? Mm, yeah, it's, but Sherry says there's like ten and a half. She ten and a half? Wow. Yeah. She measuring from your balls or from the base from of the your, root? From he's, the root. He's got a golf club in his yeah. pants. What the fuck are you saying? You got a <laughs> ten and a half inch wang, and it's as thick balls. as a beer can. No, it's, it's about half. Half a beer can. Half a beer can. Uh, Holy mackerel. He's like Mark the Bagger. <laughs> no wonder you dig. No wonder you you so yeah, into yeah, chicks. Yeah, the poodle's yes. gotten you into trouble a lot. <laughs> it has, yeah. You probably can bang a chick good. I'm a good lover. Yeah. yeah. Robin. Yeah. That's amazing, huh? I, I wouldn't that's you incredible. sitting here, I would never even know that. Mm. Well, I mean, hey, what are you gonna do? It can't all go to Dennis Rodman. <laughs> <laughs> well, you no. sit here and you think, well, maybe John Stamos sucks in bed. I hope. <laughs> I wish I had his looks. Yeah. With my You're package and his looks, too, oh, baby. Forget about it. Oh. Me, Man, too. I'm a 10 and a half incher if I measure from the Arctic Circle. <laughs> oh, my God. Ever bang a black chick? Yeah. You have? Mm -hmm. You've had it all, huh? Mm hmm. Have you been a, a yeah? Have you had an Asian? You you golf all yeah. over the world, right? Yeah. So you've had an Indian, an Asian. You've had it all. Wow, Let me ask you this: like you just you mentioned corporate tournaments. Say like Kodak wants you to play in their corporate tournament. Like what kind of cash could you make doing that? I usually get like a hundred, hundred twenty-five thousand just to a play day. around the golf with these guys. Wow! See, that's where he's making the money, man. Hundred, hundred twenty-five G's just to play with a bunch of rich businessmen. They're yeah. great too. Oh man! And you have fun. You like yeah. it. Mm -hmm. You ever bang Denise Richards? No. <laughs> no? Anybody famous? Hey, here's a good story. Somebody emailed no. me this. No? Mm -mm. It says here, um, could you possibly ask John Daly tomorrow about how he caused a lion to be put to death during the 84 Lumber Golf Classic? There are lions out there, and John threw his shirt in the cage, and a lion ate it, and it got stuck in his intestines and had to be put to sleep. Is that oh. a true story? No, that's not true. No. <laughs> you never no. fed your shirt to a lion? <laughs> no, I did. I actually, I threw it off, but it was, there's a... There's a fence, and then there's a fence. <laughs> oh, so it went between. It went between, and the and the lion got his paw up under there and grabbed the shirt and just attacked the damn thing. And <laughs> and I asked the girl, I said, I'm so sorry. She goes, Yeah, he, she moved it on. Oh, she so, he, so he didn't. Get so he never ate it. No, no, she. It was in shreds. I mean, it was. <laughs> you want to uh, talk to some people on the phone? The book is called My Life in and Out of the Roughs. John Daly. Let's say hi to Justin in Tom's River, New Jersey. Justin, you're on the air. Yeah, or this guy, uh, you know, he's all right, but, he, you know, in the world rankings, he's ranked, like, number uh, 61. You know, uh, Tiger, just just to show you how hot, far ahead Tiger is, he's number one. But the thing he was saying about his ex-wife, <laughs> she did uh, tell why, you know, about the inappropriate marital conduct. It says, and I quote, wife says, John had a dark side when it came to sex. He would take pop rocks and throw them into my vagina, uh, and he made an ass bomb out of it. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. What are pop rocks? Well, Bubba's is doing. Oh, we got this funny. guy Bubba the Love Sponge on our channels. I don't know if you could listen to him. You'd he's love gonna, him. He, You'd next, love Bubba, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you would love Bubba. Next week, what he's. What are pop rocks? Is that the Remember stuff? those candies that that fizz in your mouth? He's going to put them in some girl's vag. And, <laughs> really? Yeah, and he's going to test that out. He's going where no man has ever gone before. Wow. And yesterday they did, uh, what do they do? Vag bombs. Vag bombs, yeah. They pour, they blew beer into this woman's vagina and then she pours it out of there into their mouths. Wow. There's, some, there's uh, some, some hardcore shit going on down wow. there. See, yeah. if you got a big cock, you don't have to do any of that shit. Yeah, it's <laughs> all these little yeah. dick guys. You just fuck them. You think yeah. Bubba's got a little dick? Maybe that's what's going on. Yeah. A bunch of the guys out there were wondering who are big golf fans. On the PGA Tour, are there any uh, any gays, any homosexuals on the tour? Not that I know of, no. The game is gay enough. <laughs> <laughs> Robin. <laughs> Chris in Philly, you're on the air. You're That's the game that gets guys away from their wives. Yeah, uh, Chris, you're on the air in Philadelphia with uh, John Daly. Hey, John's the one who got me into golf. Yeah? I thought it was for a bunch of homos. <laughs> and I seen him playing in one sport, man, and he hit the ball like 400 yards. And the broadcasters, I thought, were going to suck his dick if he was around. the ball that far before. Hey, wait a minute. That's the question. What, what's the longest drive you've ever had on record? Do you know? 
806 yards. Holy wow. shit. L.A. <laughs> International Airport. Yards. <laughs> it was on the runway. <laughs> the first, really? The first drive, I broke a window on a G5. Holy I hit it so really? far right. Yeah, no I came, kidding. Came 800 back, fucking yards. 806. It just kept bouncing and bouncing. But uh, it was the Wilson ad when I was doing, uh, after I come back from the British Open, it was the Invex driver. God, uh, Howard, just to put that in perspective, you go to a driving range and see how close you could come to even 200 yards. You won't get really? near it. I mean, that's insanity. That's great <laughs> power. Do you love golf or you hate it? I love it. You love it. You're, you're glad that this is your life. Yeah. All right. You wouldn't want to do anything else. Joe, you're on the air. Hey, Howard, how you doing? Man, I'm I'm two hours late already for my first appointment. What a great show this morning, man. Oh, thanks. thanks, bro. <laughs> two weeks ago, uh, John Daly was in Charlotte for the Wachovia Championship, and we were following him around. And, you know, the fans, we all have like a million different, uh, I guess, urban myths, toys about this guy. And I was hoping he could prove uh, a couple of them false or true. Number one was that uh, he left the Betty Ford Clinic. And uh, on his way home, like, was a five-mile drive. He drank an entire 12-pack. <laughs> and it's, John, any truth that when you left no. Betty Ford, you drank an entire 12-pack? No, no. I'm Actually, I, from from 97 to 2000, or 99, I did not have a drop. Okay. Of anything, no, not of anything. beer, anything. And from 92 to 96. <laughs> Artie doesn't believe it. <laughs> six, I didn't have anything. <laughs> I like that John looks at Artie after he makes that statement. So that's <laughs> not true. <laughs> Whatever. That's I'll not true. Low. When it's I left Betty true. Ford, because Terry Rowdy, my agent, he drove me. We drove all the way from there to Dardanelle and headed up to the my first tournament of rehab, which was uh, back then it was in D.C., uh, Kemper Open. You seem like a fun guy. I mean, I bet you got a lot of male friends who, like, you know, you guys just get into a whole kind yeah, of trouble. Yeah, you got buddies. And you no, got buddies. I don't. You know, we really don't. I used to go mm. out. I don't go out anymore. I sit at my club in, in Dardanelle, or I sit at my bar in Memphis, or I sit at my buddy who's here, East End Grill, and drink a few beers. Yeah, where's your main home? In Memphis. In Memphis. You like your yeah. life, man. You're drinking, you're smoking, you're playing golf. Yeah. But you don't have I mean, a bunch look, of buddies. You got a good job. Look at you. Yeah, you're, man. It's great. Yeah. It's be- and you're great at it. Thank you. But yeah. I'm not having the fun you're having. You're relaxed. We're in bed at night. He knows how to party. Yeah. You, you kind of like, you, you know, you're sitting around and playing some golf. Maybe you won't. You know what I mean? You just got a relaxed attitude. Yeah. Well. He'd be all nervous <laughs> if he had to get up and play a tournament. Yeah, <laughs> I would be like Tiger. I'd be all stressed out, neurotic, <laughs> hoping my daddy still loves me. The whole goddamn nine yards of, you know what I mean? Let's go to Dan, who wants to say hi to John. Go ahead, Dan. Hey, John, what's going on, man? I'm a huge fan of yours. I have been since the late 80s, early 90s. Howard, I know you don't know anything about golf, and as one of the guys just said before, John Daly brought something to the game of golf, and no one did. He could smack the ball so hard and so long. And before that, guys were hitting it like maybe 300, 315 yards is the longest. John came on the scene and was hitting like 320, 350, 390. It, it was just unbelievable what this guy could do. But, uh, John, I want to ask you a quick question. Did it really piss you off? When you did that Niagara Falls special last year where they tried to have you hit the ball over the falls and, you know, the weather conditions just were too crappy for you to even have a chance of doing it. Yeah, it was it was tough, Dan. I mean, it was a little rainy against the wind, and uh, the second ball actually hit the rocks on the New York side. But uh, How far of a, how far of a, a 346-yard carry. And but I it was the, hard because of the wind? Yeah, it was right into my face a little bit. Right. But the and, other thing is, too, as Robin was saying before about, you know, how Tiger, uh, he does everything right and John does everything wrong. Half the guys on the tour, most of them drink, most of them smoke. You know, the best is like when John's playing and he's doing real good and they have the camera footage on him because he's doing real good. You'll see him come up to like around the green and he'll be chipping. Uh-huh. You'll see him smoking a cigarette and he'll look right at the camera and just smile. <laughs> and he's like the only golfer they'll show smoking on the tour because, you know, they're so against everything else right. wrong. Well, they have an image right. they want to present and it's a fake image. It's a, it's a the, false image that the... It's uh, changed so much, Howard, over the years. You know, like I said, it's normal everyday people going out and watching people play golf now. It's not these snooty, uptight assholes that were before, like right. the 70s and 60s. The only and part of the it. story... I, the only part of the story, John, I don't believe is that you're somehow keeping it in your pants and you're not getting laid while your wife's in prison. And he's not whacking no, it. No. I can't believe you're not whacking it. I'm what? on time. Wow. I've got the kids. I'm always working, busy. Not well, even still, in the hotel. I you still, go back to the hotel room. I still I hate, you know, I, I hate hotels. I'm, I'm used to staying in my bus. Yeah. I still don't understand how your wife ended up in jail. I'm not following the story. What happened? I, it's just, I, you know, I, to, to, to be honest with you, I don't know the whole truth about it. I just know that she made some deposits for her dad. She worked for her dad. They yeah. owned a car lot. And she worked for her dad, and she made four deposits um, under 10000 I guess, is what it was. And, right. And, you know, if, if 
if I was working for my dad, he tells me to go make deposits, I'm going to go make them. So you mean you, you're not supposed to make deposits? What's wrong with making a deposit? Apparently the money's not there. Well, right? oh. it's, it's, I don't know. He got, I don't even know the details of it all. It's in the book. I can't, they just, Glenn, I told Glenn to find out the truth about my wife and all that. I don't want to deal with it. I've had enough stress in my life. And put it in there and put the right thing in the book because. Do you, know, you, uh, do you go to visit her in jail? Yeah, I visited her once, yeah. One time. Just once? I've been busy. I haven't had time to get wow. up there. How uh-huh. long has she been in? Uh, she's, she'll be out June 23rd. She'll yeah. be five months. Wow. Well, five months. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then she has five months house arrest and a year probation. House arrest? Woo. <laughs> You'll never leave the house either, will no, you? No, no. <laughs> it's a nice house. I bet she's wild in the sack, too. Chick come out of prison. They're ready. I hope so. Hope she learned a new, few new tricks in that prison. <laughs> oh, those, those women prisoners, they'll probably show you some nice shit sexually. She's going to be pissed you only visited her once, though. She's mad at me. Of course. Are you writing, at least? I wrote her one letter. Oh. I'm not a writer. <laughs> I'm not a writer. You know? Can't miss her that she much. She has three, 300 minutes a month on the phone, and she... She uses it up in two weeks. Are the kids pissed off? No, the kids are fine. Yeah. yeah. I bet you're angry with her, though, for getting arrested. I'm not angry with her at all. You're not? No, because I don't think it was her fault. I mean, she's, Did her dad have to do any time? He's Yeah, he has to do a year and eight months. Mm. Wow. Yeah. All right, one more phone call, because people are having fun having John Daly here. Scott, go ahead. You're on with John Daly, who's got a new book out, My Life In and Out of the Rough. Sounds like you're honest about everything in the book. Yeah. It's quite a life. Yes, Scott. Hey, now. Hey, now. Uh, John, yeah. I saw you at a tournament in Orlando two years ago. Bay Hill? A, no, at the Disney Classic. Oh, okay. And during the practice round, and I, and I love you, I'm a big fan of yours. Thank you. Uh, and, it, and it cracked me up, though. A fan walked by during practice rounds and asked you for an interview, and as you were exhaling, you said, fuck off, and we kept walking like you didn't miss a beat. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I didn't do that. I probably said... <laughs> no, you did, man. You took a drag, fuck off, and kept going. How are you going to... How are you going to sit through a whole book signing with a bunch of idiots? <laughs> hey, it's making me money, brother. It's fine. Well, how does that work, the whole book deal? Do you get it in advance? Is that how they work yeah, it? They yeah, give you a bunch of dough to write the thing? Mm-hmm. And then if it sells a lot of copies, you get some more dough. We were the best sellers, the best seller book after the second day, I think. Oh, beautiful. That's good for yeah. you. Hey, maybe they'll make it like into a TV movie in a week or something. Yeah, i got to put you in the movie. Will you be in the yeah, movie? You yeah, come on, I'll play you. What is he going right. to play? Yeah. <laughs> I could play a golf club. He's going to have to gain about 120 <laughs> pounds. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> you could play his dad. <laughs> yeah. I'll play no, your dad. my buddy Paul Gleason's already got my dad down. All right. I'll play your Where's penis. Beaks? I'm Where's... probably about as long as your penis. That's it. <laughs> I kind of look like a penis. <laughs> well, anyway, John, I want to thank you for stopping by. This was a lot of fun. Oh, I've enjoyed it. It's and you great. are Artie's hero, man. I mean, to you. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, I'm an example of I'm not a big golf fan, but when he's doing well, I could get talked into watching it like that playoff with tiger and stuff you know i'm just sitting there going oh come on now i'm gonna yeah. watch just tell me when john's on and i'll watch yeah, <laughs> all right. great. It's yeah. Great fun. i played golf one time my hometown memphis next week you're playing mm-hmm. fedex st jude and that's on tv mm-hmm. oh all right i'll watch it are you gonna kick some ass will you i'm gonna try i don't want to be watching saying i know he that hasn't guy. had any sex you're I'll gonna have him. to help him out yeah <laughs> I and the other thing, it. the 800-yard drive, is that the record? Is that the longest on no, the No, that was on a runway, airport right, that's runway. that's not on a course. But I mean, you were mean, fucking around any... with your friends, and you said, watch me hit this ball, and bam? Or it, was just... a, it was a Wilson thing. Oh. Back when it was Wilson, yeah. Oh, I see. 800. Has any, do you know of anybody who's ever done it further in any situation, though? Oh, there's guys. The long drive guys knocked the ball so far. Over 1,000 yards, you think? Well, no. I mean, you know, they, I've seen driving distance, uh, driving uh the championship, the pinnacle, Remax, or whatever it is. Uh-huh. I think there's guys that hit it over 400 yards before this won that thing. All right. Well, you don't even worry about your weight, though, do you? No. You don't care. It's one good thing about being fat: the wind ain't blowing me over. Right. And he <laughs> said, if you lose weight or something, it messes up your swing. It screws my whole golf swing up. Wow. Well. No kidding. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. funny. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a good oh, answer this is so for everything. Your guy. Yeah. You never hear a basketball player go, when I get thin, it ruins my drive to the hoop. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you, John. It's a pleasure to meet you. I, I mean, what I know about golf will fit into a thimble, but uh, you seem like a fun guy. Got to get you out on the course. Oh yeah, you got to see me out there. I got a uh, cool beret and those little knickers. <laughs> you wear. got the outfit. Oh, great. I got the outfit. You're for skinny. It. You and can I, do yeah, that. I look good in the outfit, man. <laughs> I can't wear knickers. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, 
I got the whole thing. <laughs> you should show up in one of those outfits. You know what I mean? One of the tournaments. <laughs> yeah, like Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> <laughs> or like Jackie Gleason on The Honeymooners right, yeah. when he took up golf. Was yeah. really great. Yeah. Hello, ball. <laughs> <laughs> Address the ball. Yeah, hello, ball. And, uh, and here's to you getting laid soon, man. Yeah, I, I can't mean, wait. You got uh, yeah. ten and a half inches there, wasted away. I mean, yeah. you got to get you got to get back in the sack. <laughs> Is it hard to have a penis that big? I mean, like even walking or trying to like like walk, it's you, it's got to get in your way in a sense. No, no, not too bad. No, and your that's, balls that's are big too. The, that's on the you know the full heart on you know. But, a full heart on, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't have anywhere near that. You I have got, no problem no. walking. I know. I can, doesn't get in the way at all. Where is it right now? Is it? Is Just it? Just hanging on the right side. Okay, here, okay. Laying on my leg, having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. John, you, uh, you fished out a lot of information. Uh, yeah, we had a good time. Flies and drinking, gambling. Is that, uh, is that hard to talk about? No, it's just the truth. It's easy. You know, I can smoke in the studio. It's beautiful. Um, this, this is also the first time you were... Uh, this is also the first time you're on the show. Did it go as, uh, as you thought it would? Yeah, it went great. Did you have a good time? Oh, yeah. yeah. We had a great time. I got my new friend, Artie and Howard. <laughs> beautiful. Robin got them all. It's beautiful. All right, John. Thanks a lot. You got it. Thanks for the breakfast. Appreciate it. <laughs> Will you play tonight? No. No? No, I'm not Then you're off the team. Tonight. You're not playing tonight. No. You're off the team forever then. We don't need you. We have enough girls on the team. And you needed me last week. Maybe, but we don't need you this week, so. See and all ya. we do is complain. Huh? And all we do is the I girls. I said, there's no we. I hear a lot of complaining from you. I don't hear complaining from Carrie or Tracy right now. Just you. That's not the How kind much of team. have I complained? That's not the kind of team effort we're looking for. Oh, yeah, That's not like... the kind of team spirit that we're trying to build here. Yeah, right. You're ruining the team spirit. And for that, gone. <laughs> you. I still love it. Come on, let's go this way. This is where the team... You know what? I don't want to play on your stupid team, okay? And Good, because not... it's not a choice. You're off the team. Uh, right. Yeah, and how, so who are you to just go, you're off the team? I'm the goddamn coach. And you're never around when they call for who's up. You're, where are you? You're out playing... I'm busy at third base, coach. Yeah, you're coach. playing with yourself. This is what you're doing. Oh, Jesus. That's horrible, you know? All right, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. Maybe they got some old ladies' team. <laughs> oh, Jesus you have to take that. No, you know what? You, you think that's nice, that. just to make fun of me, right? Because I'm old. I hope you get old someday. And I'll be alive and I'll make fun of you, you old fart. Mm, well, we'll see. For now, you're off the team. Next. Oh, Joe Next. Joe Tory over here. Next. Yeah, who do you think you are, Joe Tory? Oh, I know. Why don't you go coach the Knicks? Hey, don't make me use this on you. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me use this on you. All right? Penny's crying out there because Will kicked her off the softball team. Do you know about that, George? You ought to cover oh. that. You guys ought to get right on that story. Yeah, we got another game tonight. Why are you crying? You know, I never come in here. Oh, What's the matter? Here. Oh, you are crying. Wow. No, I am crying. I'm gonna, it's not no. right. I Your never... son is here. Stop doing this. Wait, let me hear. Go ahead and talk. Go ahead and cry. I don't care. <laughs> you, you know what? Wrong. I'm nice to everybody. Right. Two weeks ago, Will... No, no, you're, now you're being nice. Two weeks ago, Will says to me, you got to play, you got to play. When I was a little girl, everybody beat up on me. So you? he says, you got to play, yeah. Because they called me Crone the Moan and names like you used to over the last 20 years. I did him a fucking favor. I went and I played. I drove him up to the field in Central Park, right? <laughs> now he has four girls. <laughs> Don't play him, hey, Howard. I'm you're sorry. crazy. Penny, you're crazy. <laughs> so I'm not crazy. You had what? He had to have four girls by law or whatever. Right. So he's, Penny, you're going to play catcher. I did a good job. Now he's got four, five girls. And he goes, And did you they know, check to see if you were He a girl? said, you played a shitty game and screw you. And, and, and then he throws me off the team. Is that true? I never said you played a shitty game. Why you just I didn't say it to her face, at least. Why did you throw her off the team? I didn't throw off the team. I said, if she wants to play, show up. She keeps begging me to show up. And I'm no. like, all right, if you want to play, play. He what do you want me to do? He says he didn't kick you off. Jesus no. Christ. You don't understand. Two weeks ago, two weeks ago, <laughs> you told me... Two weeks ago, I had to go. I had to go. You wanted me. I was going to be a great catcher. I can't deal with this. It's bitching and moaning every day back there with her. I don't understand the controversy. She can play if she shows up. If she wants to play, she plays. But what she is wants the controversy? Me to beg her you didn't to play. Just say I'm off the team. At you the end, I said I was kidding. I was kidding at the no, end of it. you weren't kidding. You know what? It isn't nice. And then the other thing is, after the game, when I played a shitty game, <laughs> where my car was parked at 101st, and, and, and he's a liar. He's a liar. My, park, my car, and he knows where it was, in Central Park West, and he wouldn't even walk me to my car. 
I had to walk. You know who walked me? Surely and Reverend Bob. He well, leaves What were me. you afraid of? That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now, I, you know what, this bullshit, you and your God, I don't want to play. I didn't even bring my clothes, okay? So you got your four freaking girls, and I'm never playing for your, you, you're mean, Will. What do you weren't, mean you you to off, play? weren't you ki- kicked <laughs> off because they thought you were taking steroids? <laughs> <laughs> we got enough men on the team. Oh, Penny, there's no Penny. way you could be this upset about Penny, this. Penny, come here. No, it means, it means a lot to me. It, I was so excited. You know, you're mean. <laughs> Penny, <laughs> take a pill or something. Wow. You're really Are you help. serious right now? Yeah. I mean, I, I can't. You don't t- think this I is thought so it- ridiculous. I can't even take this seriously. Well, I want to be liked, okay? You, you're liked. What do you want? You're like you're definitely like. I, mean, I can't figure. I don't think you're for towered. real. I don't think you're for real. I don't. Uh, this is. But active. she is crying. She's not crying. I haven't seen one tear. Your face is dry. This is an act. It is not an act. You should have acted you this good in the movie with Robin and Frick. <laughs> right. It's not an act. You should have yelled at Fox News like this when they fired you. I did. You and did? now you're probably going to fire me next. <laughs> oh, That's going to be so funny. When you fire her, you got to come in here. Do it on the air, yes. Are we done? I'm, 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 I'm done with you, Will. Penny, I will say one I thing. I just that... think there's a poor kid out there who this is his mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's Bob said you're crying because you're you don't, You know, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Who's doing that? that Ronnie. You know, so everybody funny. thinks this is funny. You know they what? Do. You can call it's in. Hilarious. Robin, you can call in your is assistant, that, Carrie. Is that your son? Yeah. Oh, I, saw, I met yeah, this kid this morning. That's your son? Good kid. Yeah. Man. A poor kid. He's not a poor kid. He is, too. <laughs> and you know how I wanted to play, and you know how I look forward to it, and you know how I called you up in school and well, told you. Dude, how do you truth deal is, with this? You're not very good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could say that to my mother. She wouldn't be good at it either. I was good. Okay, Will. Yeah, you weren't bad. He replaced you on the softball Who'd team, Who'd you replace me with? Who's, who's going to be catching? Your catch son. It? Some hot chick. <laughs> I'm out of here. So Penny, you're Penny, you're 73 years old. Just like Fox. Oh, I, <laughs> hey, Penny, just like and Fox. And you're fat, I, Artie. Okay. Well, there's a calm bulletin. down, calm down. <laughs> now that we're stating the is obvious. It hard having, is it hard having your mo- this this woman as your mom? Penny Crone? It, it's, almost, it's close to impossible as anything. <laughs> really? Does she drive you nuts? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Ah, poor kid. He seems, seems like, like a, good a good nice kid. kid. Good kid, yeah. Yeah, how did he turn out so normal? Yeah. <laughs> How did you turn out normal? Stay, Penny, stay you, away from her. You played good, but I was at the game. The problem was someone else had to cover home because you couldn't catch the ball if he the threw penny, it you. The penny. And you're rolling around out in the oh, outfield like a big wow. rolling fucking ball. <laughs> what, I, when, when I had the highlight of the game and threw the guy out at uh, home, John had to ever, cover home. You and you're ever, not playing tonight either. Did you ever catch your mom having sex or anything weird like that? Uh, I'd, 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 no. Oh, I'd kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'd, I'd jump she, off the Brooklyn Bridge. She was the type of mom that would walk around naked and stuff. No, absolutely Good. not. No. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm a lady, and I'm young. I'm a lady. Uh, far from it. <laughs> <laughs> but for him what? to tell his what? mother what? he's not here. good at Come softball, that's not insulting. That's just, you know. Yeah. I love your mom already. Was it cool I don't know how have... she puts up with you. Was it cool... She doesn't. Was it cool to have Penny as your mom because it looked like, it looked like she was on TV and stuff? Oh, yeah, I mean, it, it, right. it's interesting. You know what I mean? I get, you know, a lot of people asking, uh, you know, how's it like have your, having your mom on the show and everything? And I say, you know, and she's my mom. You know she's a mean? local celebrity. Yeah. Could it, did it ever get you laid, like having your mom on TV? Like, no, no. No? I took care of that myself. <laughs> the crone name never? No. No? no? It probably ha- Me was your, Do you ever get, was your mother named after the disease? What, Crohn's disease? No. <laughs> Isn't that a disease? Yeah, I had it driving home the other day with Travis, though, man. <laughs> I couldn't make it home. I had to go to the bathroom so bad. Oh, right. my God. Oh, he was so embarrassed. I'm going up the Palisades Parkway about 90 miles. <laughs> oh, did, your mom, did your mom ever catch you whacking off? I don't know, have you? No. <laughs> Not that I know of. No, he's a good kid. He's a good kid. But, you know, you know I play ball pretty good, right? No, you're terrible. All you're right. awful. All right, all right. Did you shouldn't mom, play anymore. I mean, he's did right. Did your mom ever right. take your temperature anally? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> Will's 100% right. You should not be playing. Why do you care about a softball game? Yeah, come on, Penny. It's all right. Well, I love Penny. Thank you. You know what? And I love you. And I'm and not. you can play. And I'm not taking steroids. There, Will. Can I play the whole game? What's up to Will? But, I mean, you know, you got to let everyone have a turn. But, yeah, you can play. Hey, Penny, just like Fox, we replaced you with a younger, hotter chick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's out of line. That is out of line. Oh, oh. that is out of line. Right. Oh. You wow. can't wait until she left to say that. <laughs> I'm done. Penny, what's, what's going on? No, they're just picking on me. You know, Howard says I take steroids. Um, you you said I don't play good. You're horrible. You know what I mean? You're my mom. I love you to death, but you're not a I'm good... I'm not horrible. You're How's not that? a good softball. I'm not horrible. You're not good. I'm not Period. Horrible.
I'm not horrible. Can we be all be friends? Then, and then he, go, and then he goes, friends. oh, just like Fox, we replaced you with a younger chick. Oh, come on, that was a great line. And don't you laugh, Doug. I'm not laughing. Penny, Penny, come here. Penny, come here for a second. What? So wait, just come here for a second. So, so are, are you upset that uh, what Will was saying? Yeah. Why? Because you know what? On the air, he says, oh, she can play. <laughs> off the air, you know what he's saying? What? He's saying to me, he's saying you're off the team. He said, you heard it. You heard it. You're not good. You're not any good. I mean, maybe You know what? Did you, you know what? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Penny, hey, quick, Penny. I'll be back. No. Go to the news. Penny, Penny. No. Don't talk to him. Hey, what's, you know? what, what's the matter? Where are you going? I gotta go. I gotta have a cold drink and a smoke. Why? I'm Penny. done with you guys. Why, Penny? What's the matter? I gotta do a story. I can't even do a story. I'm not playing on your team. I'm not going out there anymore. Why? Because she said I was off the team, and you've been mean, and you really have been mean to me. I haven't been that mean to you at all. So he's, out. he's pointing at me. Yeah, I mean. Oh, dude, don't point. Don't ever point at her. Oh, but, that's and it. And he knows it. She no, almost don't. bit the belt. Oh, oh, he's doing it on purpose. What? Asshole. Hey. You know what? Uh, I gotta get my record. I gotta do this. I told it, man. <laughs> Shut up. Don't she would have been crying again. Point. That makes yeah, sense. I was doing it on purpose. You can't not play because you're not on the team! <laughs> <laughs> Old bag. Oh, dude.